Well, here we are, Tuesday morning, January 8th, 2013. 31 degrees in Frederick, way too sunny. All I got to say is, darn. Momo na chichi na is not working right now. But anyways, went for a nice ride yesterday with a couple guys from Bay City. And we were never more than three miles from here, and no kidding. 8 to 12 inches of snow in the spots that we got to ride to. But I'm telling you, if you come up here to ride and you're going to ride off trail like we did yesterday, you got to have a, you have to have a handsaw with you because we worked so hard. It's going to take all winter, if not all summer, to get those those two tracks open again. There's so many trees down. I'm shocked. I mean, people have been telling me that all along. But I just didn't didn't grasp it till we got out there, and we were sweating like pigs. And I'm way too old and fat to be cutting trees like that. But anyways, uh, we had a great ride. We found some great open fields. Uh, tore up some snow. We got on the trail number seven here behind us yesterday for just about a half a mile. And that's not good. That was ugly. So um, all we can do is wait for more snow to come. Uh, if you want to two track it, you can do it. But don't forget, bring your handsaw and please ride safely. Okay, it's, what, Monday afternoon, sunny and 33 in Frederick. Got these two guys rolled in from down by Bay City. I'm going out for my first ride this year and they're going with me. What's your guys' names? My name's Jim Elma. Jim Elma? You want some boys? All right, we're gonna see if we can find some good snow. I know there's still good snow out there. And I'm gonna be riding my new, thanks to Bruce, my good customer. Arctic Cat T660. So we'll test this baby out. There's good 10, 12 inches in here still. Like this but this is the first time I've been out and I can't believe the trees down on this trail to get here holy cow we got a mess I, I mean everybody's been telling me it's a mess but it's the first time I've got to see it this is normally one of my favorite trails this is what this stuff looks like trying to get through luckily we haven't had any big trees on it yet but we're trying to bust through it like I said you need to carry a saw this time That's about halfway, it might break. Good enough. I'm too fat and old for this. <laughs> it's two weeks since it snowed, and there's still this much snow on the trees. Unbelievable. We're almost sure where we want to go to. Actually, this is probably the worst one right here. This is a... My daughter caught her, cut herself with that saw one time. I had to take her to the hospital. Oh, you got it too, huh? That's pretty sharp. She had to get two stitches out of it. We had to do a little work to get to this field. Actually, a lot of work. Okay, so what do you guys think of this ride in here so far? Good so far. A lot better than the main trail, isn't it? Oh, yeah, for sure. <laughs> There's got to be, what, 10 inches here? Yeah, I'd say at least 10 inches. There's your, where's your ski? Right down there. Buried. And halfway up your spindle. So, and you're not breaking through to the dirt right here. Nope. Snow is just awesome out here. Get into these bigger fields where we don't have to move so many trees down. Look at how deep this is. Look at how deep this is. 
all the way up to all the way up past my wrist. Well, we've been riding some great snow, and we just got here to the trail. It's not exactly what we like to see, but snow's been great where we've been riding it, though. The Batterson Road, and it's just horrible. So many trees down. I can't get down this trail here, and I, we got a heck of a thing to turn around and try and get back. I forgot to say, happy birthday Elvis Presley. Thank you. Thank you very much.